Hello, magnificent people. I'm taping in my office today, so you might hear a little bit of, of outside construction noise. I'm in Miami, so there's always construction here. Um, I want to talk today about procrastination. I have some really great tips for you, and I'm um, trying to really keep it really short, so let's go. Um, I was on a radio show recently and I was asked uh, what do I think about the fact that 80% of authors do not get their uh, work finished so that's really staggering um, and we relate that to the fact that 1% um, of people actually do not this was a, another statistic by um, Giants um, Bob Proctor and Tony Robbins who say that 1% of all self-help books actually get integrated and finished um, you know, we really apply this to our lives. We are uh, a species in, in a culture right now where we're just going from one thing to the next. We are jumping and jumping and um, trying to get one fix and an antidote and trying to solve a problem that we're thinking that we're, we're missing or we're trying to get another piece of information. We're basically hooked on information. You know, just like the statistics that you wanted to hear from me. You know, another statistic, another statistic. Maybe there's something else I can, you know, find a little, little nugget that I can find out and then I can, then I can get the fix. You know, then I can find the thing that's missing with me. But what this is costing you is tremendous. You are waking up, you know, each morning with another, the feeling of dread. You know, this is costing us years, months, you know, lifetimes of feeling inadequate. You know, we, we, we're spending, um, you know, our, our purposes and our passion, um, they're, they're, they're not being shared with the world. I mean, what, what we're doing is postponing our happiness. We're pro procrastinating on our dreams because we're, we're not quite thinking that we're ready yet. We're not ready to launch. We're not, we're, it's not just, it's not quite there yet. And you know, what I'm here to say is, it's never going to be done. You know, I'm, I'm never going to have the right, you know, elements in my studio to tape the perfect video. I'm never going to have the right sound or the right ambiance or the right, you know, this is all not going to be clean enough or it's just not going to be perfect. So I think it all goes to say that the best thing I can do is, is to see or to say to you that don't wait, um, you know, authors, I, 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 the answer to that question was, um, don't wait for that chapter to be perfect. Don't even wait for the book to be perfect. I um, actually launched one of my recent books without, you know, someone gave me advice and said, well, you need to do, 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 do and get this through. You know, I, I could take 10 years to write that, but don't wait. Let it be messy. Let it get out there. Go to the next thing. What, you're the worst critic, you know, and, and don't allow other people's opinions to keep us from accomplishing our goals and our dreams. Really, this is what it's pervasive in our society. That procrastination is costing you dearly. It's, it, it's, that's the suffering that we're doing when we wake up with that, you know, that longing and that dread and that feeling of overwhelm and you're already exhausted because you just don't know where to start. And then you go for that, that really quick fix that's never going to come because there's another one and another one and another one because there's no shortage of quick fixes and not no shortage of quick el elixirs and people that will provide that. So my big, you know, aha today is just do something today. Just maybe get out of your comfort zone and say, okay, I'm going to press the button on this.